Honestly, when we first started talking about it and Brandon started throwing out these specs, I wasn't sure. You know, I wasn't sure how the maple was gonna vibe with the gold. Now that it's all done, it's gorgeous. I can't walk down the hallway without a couple people stopping me and saying, what is that? Hey guys, Brandon here. I'm excited today to share with you my brand new Jackson Custom Shop Kelly 27, master built by Joe Williams. With each Jackson Custom Shop that I get to design, I try to build upon the foundation of the previous one and every guitar just gets a little bit more refined and tailored to myself as an individual. But at the same time, I really want a lot of variety. I'm thinking of this guitar and I'm like, this would be so obnoxiously regal and kingly, like a king scepter. The more I think about it, I'm like, man, this guitar will never exist if I don't order it. This is the third Kelly that I built for Brandon. So this is a 27 fret Kelly, a lot like his last one, with a couple obvious upgrades and changes. A lot of artists, they know what they want, they know what they like, and that's what it is. Brandon's always kind of searching, which is pretty exciting as a builder, because I get to try different things too. It's a custom Kelly body that I've been doing specifically for Brandon. Just like Brandon's signature guitar, he's really into the crackle finishes. There's a couple different golds that we could have done, and he really wanted that bling effect with the big metal flake. The tricky part about doing the crackle paint jobs on a neck through is we gotta get the whole thing at one time. It's gotta be even in order to get all that continuity there and get it all right. When I was building the guitar in the mill, knowing that it was gonna get not just a metal flake paint job, but also a crackle paint job, that thickens things out quite a bit. I actually had to undersize everything knowing that it was gonna grow a little bit with all the paint. There's Godo locking nuts. This is a radius of 14 inches, a Hontug gold titanium bridge. We call it the Rolex of Floyd bridges. And what's cool about it, it's got these titanium inserts for the knife edges. So if those ever wear out, take the bridge off, get rid of that little uh, dowel pin right there, and you can swap it out for a new titanium knife edge. So the fingerboard is actually a 14 to a 16 inch radius to match it perfectly. The locking Schaller gold tuners. Another small detail is the bullet scallops. He wanted the fret scallop from the 15th to the 27th. The whole thing is maple all the way through. The first thing that's gonna jump out about this guitar versus my previous Kellys is the maple fretboard. All of my Kellys up until this point have had ebony fretboards, and that's because I've been working on perfecting my design. And on the previous custom shop, I feel like I finally achieved that. I was like, this is my guitar. So I wanted to make a variation on that with a maple fretboard. The material of these inlays is really funny. So I had specced Mother of Pearl originally for this because it just seemed classy. At some point, Joe was like, hey, dude, I have this idea. What do you think about if we order this stone for your inlays? And I was like, what? I didn't even know that was possible. You can do that. And it's reconstituted stone in black and gold. And it looks just like the paint job. It really ties the look of the guitar together. And it's just exquisite looking in real life. On the headstock, Brandon wanted to go with the straight Jackson 100% 90s logo. He felt that it just looks cleaner. And on stage, that is going to be the focus. He wanted to do flame maple binding around the headstock. It wasn't easy getting that maple to bend around these corners and everything. I actually contacted Mike Shannon to get a couple of tricks of the trade on that. Getting into the electronics, this is a sustainer from the PC1 models. Basically, it's a, it's a battery powered active sustainer that makes the strings ring out indefinitely either with the, the tone of the fret that you're playing or a harmonic. And in order to make this all work, I had to hardwire the intensity so it's on full blast all the time. He really wanted to be able to use the neck pickup studio stuff, so we did a, a push-pull pot. When it's down, it's just a single hum, that's what we use 99% of the time. But if he still wants to use the neck pickup, you just pull it up and then the neck pickup's activated. Something else that he wanted to do, he's got a shirt claw system in the back here. You see this little hole right here. You can take your three millimeter Allen wrench and there's a little screw in there that moves the claw back or forward, depending like say he travels from the US to somewhere in Europe, it's a lot colder and all the strings went flat or sharp. All he's gotta do is grab his Allen wrench and just tweak it a little bit and it's right back in tune. Typically the Jackson standard is 25 and a half inch scale. Brandon wanted to try something a little different. This is a 25.1 inch scale fingerboard, which kind of tightens up the stretches, tightens up the pocket, but not enough to throw off your finger positions or anything like that. Again, he's innovative like that and he's always willing to kind of push the boundaries. There's no going back from that.
The coolest thing about working with the Jackson Custom Shop, it's such a small operation there that I've become friends with the guy who builds my guitars. It's one of my greatest honors in life to get to work with the guy and call my friend. This guitar is so insane and it's my prized possession. I'm so proud of how it turned out. I love this thing to pieces. I don't even like think of it like I designed this guitar. I think of it like it just, it was out there, it existed and I found it. <laughs> I brought the idea into real life and that's honestly how it feels. Thank <laughs> you.